today I'm gonna teach you guys how you can color grade your footage using AI, let's go. My name is Evan Wynn, welcome to 11% Tutorials. As I mentioned, today I'm gonna to be teaching you guys how you can color grade your footage using AI. We're gonna be using this website, color.io. Yes, it's free to use. You can upload and export full res footage, 1080p quality without a watermark. I think it's really cool because it can create that cinematic film grain texture that everybody's trying to go for. It can even create halation, bloom, film grain, and all the components that make that aesthetic cinematic film color grade look. That, that, was, that was a lot of words. As I mentioned, color.io is available on the browser for free. And yes, of course, they have a pro plan. So if you wanna export at 4K and download your your presets but without further ado let's get right into the tutorial we've created a new project and now we're in our main interface you can just import your footage by just clicking on this plus and just dragging and dropping any video clips right here i have this video clip this is a gas station shot in 4k rec 709 just literally auto footage and just cutting to the chase i just want to show you real quick the presets that already come loaded inside of color.io so you can see right here i can just click on 35 millimeter film and boom we already have an insane looking film look you can just drag along the rest of these like presets right here and they look absolutely insane already. I'm gonna show you guys how you can manipulate and tweak all the settings in just a bit, but I just really wanted to emphasize how you can literally just drag in footage and apply a preset. And for some clips, it looks like the color grade is already done. I'm gonna go ahead and stick with this Vision 3 200T preset right here. And you can see we have some halation, we have some bloom, everything is just looking absolutely beautiful. And to export it, I can just hit export. Color.io has two plans. It has a free plan and a pro plan. We are on the free plan right now. The pro plan allows you to create custom presets and then export them so that you can use them in DaVinci, Photoshop, Premiere, CapCut, and just a bunch of all these other editing softwares right here. It's a really, really unique feature. But right now we're just gonna go ahead and render it and download. And you can see it literally just loaded all that footage, color graded all in under a minute. That was insane. And I can go ahead and open it right here and we have this beautiful color grade applied. Now I'm gonna teach you guys how you can color grade from scratch using the actual settings built inside of color.io. I'm gonna be using some Rec 709 footage right here. And I'm also gonna be testing on some S-Log3 footage right here, which I shot on a Sony FX3. So let's get right into it. So first up, I have my Rec 709 footage right here. This was shot completely on auto, just straight up on my Sony a7 III right here. And I know how hard it can be, especially if you're a run and gun videographer or switching between photos and videos. And sometimes you just gotta shoot it in auto. I get it. So don't worry, we can make this auto footage look absolutely beautiful. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this little cube icon right here. And you see, we have a bunch of crazy controls. On our left-hand side, we have the spatial volume control. On our right-hand side, we have the spectral balance. Spatial volume is basically just an X and Y control version of density and also brightness. So basically think of it as in Premiere, you have the basic color control settings and you can adjust the brightness and darkness by going up and down. And you can also address the density by going left and right. So I'm just gonna go ahead and bring it over here towards the bottom left-hand corner so that it's not super bright. And on our right-hand side, the spectral balance is basically the X and Y control of our tint and temperatures. You can see I can drag it to the left and it becomes super cold, cool tint. And then our right is like orange tint and the top is like the, the purple tint and then the bottom is a green tint. I think it's honestly a really unique feature that they added this, especially if you wanna just create like a very nice tinted color, but you have to adjust the temperature and then tint inside of Premiere or DaVinci. And this makes it just really, really easy to adjust both of those combined. So I've adjusted it a little bit more to the turquoise side. Now let's move on to the next section. Below you see we have three tabs. We have density, we have vibrance, and we also have saturation. Now this control allows you to adjust just certain colors of each of these three different controls. So for example, on our density if I want to adjust like this blue I can bring it up a little bit by only bringing up the blue anchor point right here and then same with vibrance I might just bring this up a little bit more to get some more contrast I think that looks very very cinematic and then last but not least we have our saturation which honestly I won't be messing with right now and finally below that we have our luminance and radiance now the luminance I always just like to adjust a tad bit just so that we get a little bit more contrast I just think it's a very nice tool to adjust I'm just gonna go ahead and create a very very basic, simple, small S curve. Just a very, very minor one, just so that we have some milkier blacks. And boom, there we go. Nothing too crazy. It's already Rec 709, so everything's pretty color graded. We don't need to do anything too crazy. And now for my favorite part, which is the FX panel right here, which is up right here and right next to that cube. In the FX, we can adjust the halation, grain, and also vignette. Halation is honestly really, really easy. All you have to do is just increase the strength, and you can already see we have some nice halation appearing right over here above our subject's 
head. And what you can also do is just increase or decrease the radius depending on how big you want that halation. I think it's pretty good right here at around 15%. And then last but not least, threshold just basically determines how much halation you want. So if you turn your threshold all the way down to 0%, there's just halation everywhere. And that, that looks ugly. We don't want that. But I will bring it around 45%. 40, 40% still is a lot, but I think it looks very nice. And then another cool thing is that you can adjust the color of your halation. So if you want it to be darker purple or all the way like a greenish yellow, you can do that. I like to keep it just around in the middle, maybe like a more purplish red. I think that's like a perfect halation color. And boom, there we go. I think that is looking pretty good right there. And then below that we have grain. Now color.io is very unique because their grain is not just an overlay. It actually deconstructs the whole image and then rebuilds it based off the light the focus, the density, just all that so that the grain is completely organic and customized to all of your footage. So that's why when you turn up the grain density, it just looks super organic and natural and really like an actual shot on film. And I'm just going to turn this up to like 100% so we can actually see what all these controls do. The grain chroma basically makes it colorful. I always think of like old TVs when I see this. So I always like to keep my grain chroma down because I'm not a fan of grain chroma. The size obviously adjusts the size. If you want the size to be huge, you can turn it up to 100 I'm gonna keep it down to around like 0.26 and and then I'm gonna just turn the density down to around like 40% and there we go now we have a nice looking film halation color grade look I think that looks super cinematic looks super unique and the cool thing is that you can go to your other clips and it applies the same exact settings so you can of course just adjust those as well depending on like your footage but I think that's just a very unique feature that color.io includes before we go any further, I do want to let you know about the presets that we sell on our store, 11percent.net. I'm a video editor, if you can't tell, and I wanted to create presets that would just help other video editors save time and speed up your editing workflow. On our website, we have title card templates, camera shake presets, CRT overlays, mixed media overlays, and just a bunch more crazy effects. All these effects are really super high quality. I poured my heart and soul into creating effects that just actually look good and will really help you save time. So if you're interested in speeding up your editing workflow, or maybe you need some new visual effects idea, you should definitely check out 11percent.net, link below in the description. That's how you guys support me and allow me to keep making free tutorials like this one for you guys. But with that, let's get back to the tutorial. And last but not least, I'm going to teach you guys how you can color grade straight from RAW. This is some S-Log3 footage right here. So the cool thing about color.io is that you can also just go to your presets tab right here by clicking on these little shapes. And you can just click on the Rec 709 and change that to whatever format you have. You see they have Canon, DJI, Fuji, GoPro, just a bunch of crazy templates. Just pretty much every format you can think of. I shot this on Sony S-Log3, so I'm going to click on S-Log3 Gamma. It. and boom there we go now we can actually start color grading i can of course if i want apply a preset and you can see actually some of these presets look really good anyways off the bat and if i wanted from there i could go ahead and adjust some of those settings directly but if you want to color grade this straight yourself like all you you can do so as well so i'd recommend over here for this clip we have a very very bright background so i'm just going to create that s shape right here on our luminance so that we have some more like milkier blacks once again just very very subtle honestly looking pretty good i'm going to go ahead and and bring up some of the densities so that we have some better skin tones right here and last but not least I'm gonna go to my effects and turn up the strength on some of this halation right here turn down the radius and turn up the strength a bit and boom there we go now we have some nice little like halation on the edges right here I think that looks very very unique just very small subtle minor details you can see and I think that just adds a perfect touch once again of course mess around with this create these effects to your own liking there's a bunch of crazy templates that color.io comes with already so I recommend you just check those out of course it's not absolutely perfect and the best way to get perfect color grade is to do it yourself actually in whatever video editing software but it's just a very unique and helpful tool I just wanted to share with you guys and it's also free so you might as well check it out if you want to get the pro plan you can check out the link in the description and with that guys here are the final results If you guys made it to the end of the video, I just want to say thank you again so much for watching. If you managed to find any help or value from this video, please be sure to smash the like button and hit subscribe. Really, it means the world to me. Color.io is of course linked below in the description. And once again, if you're interested in saving yourself some time and speeding up your editing workflow, definitely make sure to check out 11percent.net. So if you're a videographer or cinematographer and you need some new presets, some new title card ideas, or just some other cool visual effects, I definitely recommend checking out the store. My personal recommendation to anybody who's watching this video is our title card V2 template pack. Now this pack 
is absolutely insane. It comes with 20 plus title card presets that are all made for Premiere Pro in Mogart file form. So all you have to do is drag and drop. You can of course customize the title, change the color, font, size, etc. It really helps me save time, especially when I need a title like quick, especially for a cool cinematic project. Spice it up even more with our title card V2 pack. But once again, I just wanna say thank you again so much for watching this video. Leave a comment down below what tutorial you'd like to see from us next. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.